Hey there, welcome back. Trying to kind of figure out what to do next. And one of the things that I uh, kind of wanted to do is a smoke system. So I went online and I found smokesystemhelper.com. Um, cool guy, and he kind of puts these pieces, these kits together with a pump. There's all sorts of ways of doing it, but uh, I wanted to do it as proper as possible. So anyway, I bought I bought a kit minus the tank because he makes a lot of pre-made tanks for RVs and stuff, but nothing seemed to fit in here. Then I looked at like fuel tanks, like some of the other Rans builders did, trying to get something that fits in here. But ultimately I came up with the conclusion that uh, I want the tank removable so we can take it out with a quick disconnect and use this place for storage. So that, that was one thing. The other thing was that uh, I, I couldn't get anything else to fit, so we're gonna have to make a custom tank. So my brainstorming led me to this, and the kit comes with all the hoses, all the connectors, everything, except once I looked at it closely, I kind of found out that I didn't really like the way all the connectors fit. So you need a valve, you need a pump, and here's what I've come up with so far. I'm thinking of making a doubler and putting the pump there. The inlet to the pump is on this side, and I made a five gallon tank out of cardboard, <laughs> and that's gonna sit here. So you can't you can't you can't get it in. There'll be some rails uh, clamped with with P clips on the bottom, some L brackets. So this cannot slide left to right. So we have you know an inch of clearance here, well over an inch on this side from the rudder cables and pulley system. And um, obviously this will keep it from coming up and put some straps on it. You can still get at the valve to adjust it. There'll be a cap here. There'll be a pickup here that comes around with a disconnect that you can disconnect to take the tank out and that disconnect will come around and go into here so the oil is going to go through here and then come out of here and then they give you all these plastic fittings and they supply this 3 8 hose and 6 grade hose only problem is, obviously rubber hoses are easy to install, but just like the fuel lines that, that Rand supplied, I, I guess they're only good for so long. But more importantly, this thing is like three quarters of an inch on the outside diameter, and I'm not gonna be able to, well, I suppose I could, but it would be a pain in the ass to run that along the side. So I called him up and I was asking if I could use a hard line. So I ordered a hard line, and now my plan is to connect from the outlet here, go up and over, and a hard line all the way up to the firewall. And the smoke system is actually really simple. You basically just squirt a little bit of mineral oil or smoke oil, or I think you can use pretty much anything, into the outlets of the exhaust, the very top, with these special fittings. I guess this is where the money's at. The connectors go onto this, you drill a quarter inch hole, and then if this fitting is lined up uh, properly, it's going to do a very dispersed fine mist pattern after the EGT, but as high up on the manifold as possible, and you do one on each side. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that. So anyway, that's my plan now. So I think I'm going to make a bracket for that. I'll make a doubler down here out of 40, so I'm going to connect it to the two uh, stringers on the side. Um, I'm kind of new to this. But I did buy a, a flaring tool. Um, unlike automotive, which is 45 degrees, this flaring tool is 37 degrees and uh, Here we go. And I practiced on, on this little piece. I bought a bunch of fittings and uh, AN6 fittings. Um, 
had a pipe in there. This is the flaring tool. Not the cheapest one on Amazon, but also not the most expensive one, but that actually worked uh, perfectly. Uh, obviously, I won't know until we have no leaks. But my plan is just to do hard lines. Um, I like the way they look. They look nice and neat, but most importantly, I can fit them through there without having to reinvent the interior. So anyway, that's the plan. Wish me luck. Okie doke, got it all out, and I think the plan is to, I'm gonna make a doubler out of 40 thousands that connects between this stringer and on the top of this, we're already using this for the uh, GPS ante uh, comm antenna. So the pump's gonna sit right about here. That'll allow space for fuel lines. I'm not sure what else, the Teleflex cables, how they come around, I don't wanna be in the way of any of that stuff. <clears throat> so, uh, I think that's a good spot. You can reach it from inside, get at the valve and you know, troubleshooting or whatever, and then we'll make the pipelines to go around the back. All right, doubler time. Doubler done. So what I did, like I said, everything's at an angle, so I made this parallel to that, so the things are straight. 40 thousands, bent it up couple of rivets here, drilled out a couple here, added two more to go through this support. Did some C brackets, U brackets, whatever you want to call them. These, I flush riveted in there and I actually did that with my Napex pliers to get the little solid rivets in there. And now, take this guy, this has a rubber isolation feet. Let's bolt it on. All right, you got it bolted on. Seems pretty, uh, pretty solid, and uh, time to make some. firewall there was this hole originally and the idea was is to use that but the way it is with the engine mount and the T coming off of it it's not very conducive to it so I am going to put another hole an inch and a half above that and that looks like it fits underneath the uh, the kick panel got my fitting on there ran it underneath here um, did a 90 and a 90 and then it comes around to the back where the pump is now so I took the pump out <clears throat> basically what I'm gonna do now is put these fittings on with some thread sealer and I got a 90 to go on the end of this so I know where that lines up all right got my flow control valve right next to the uh, pump that worked out nice one adapter fitting a 90 to go back to the piping that's inside the plane let's do it all right, don't ask me why I filmed that in uh, portrait mode, or girly mode as I call it. But anyway, got that in, got that in, got the hard lines plumbed. I actually put uh, everything back together again, forgot to film it, sorry. So the hard line goes behind it, goes up here, there's tons of room, um, probably over, uh, I don't know, an inch or a couple inches. It goes way up, uh, up inside here and inside there and then up into there and i might try to get some different fittings to fit that fit, uh, which we call it to use the original hole that i have down here i might just make an l that comes up and then have them go i'm not going to worry about that until we have the engine on and know which way is best to um, run the lines so i think that is it for 
the pump installation, there will be a tank installation. I have it uh, made out of cardboard and I'm gonna put some rails in here. But uh, right now, I'm gonna focus on this guy. We, uh, we've had the engine, I just had it at my shop. I'm bringing it over and uh, gonna read some manuals. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, the pump is totally useless, but fun, and that's just the way I did it. And uh, we'll see how it works, but we have more important things to worry about till then. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, enjoy, keep building.